This is Jolith O'Neill Dunn with the University of Vermont Spatial Analysis Lab, and in this video, I'll be covering some basics of high resolution feature extraction using imagery and LiDAR. I'll make use of a few software packages in this video tutorial, including eCognition, Quick Train Modeler, and ArcGIS. There are two datasets we'll be using in this tutorial an Orthophoto in Imagine format, and a LiDAR point cloud dataset in LAS format. Let's look at the image data set within ArcGIS. If we go into the properties, you'll notice that this is a digital ortho photo that has four bands associated with it. We're symbolizing it in ArcGIS as a 412 RGB composite, or a color infrared composite. In Quick Train Modeler, we're going to open up that LAS LiDAR point cloud data set. This particular LiDAR dataset also has intensity data, so we can toggle on and off the vertex colors. In addition, this LAS file has been classified by the contractor. Of greatest interest to us for feature extraction is the fact that ground points, shown here in green, have been separated from non-ground points. If we go into the properties of the LiDAR dataset, Two key factors are of keen interest to us. One, the scale, which is approximately the spacing between points, and density, which is the number of points per square unit, in this case, square meters. Now we're going to remove the LiDAR point cloud file, and we're going to reload the data as a gridded surface model. We're going to set the grid sampling to a value of 1 for 1 meter, and we're going to the gridding options. Here we're going to click on help. First we're going to set our gridding options to create a DEM or digital elevation model. In order to do this we'll want to ensure that we're only importing the ground points. By clicking on the classification.